You won squeeze alert. You won squeeze alert. You won squeeze alert. Make sure you watch this full video today. We are live at this shooting. We're not live as in live, but we are live during the markets right now. Make sure you watch this full video today because this one is going to be a banger. What's up, everybody? Art Turner, Data Productions Media. Dreams are tangible aspirations where we scheme our dreams into existence. Guys, this is a wild day right now. I'm going to refresh the screen. U1 is up 33%. We love that number. We're up 33% right now. You see that. We're at 1143, y'all. 1143. Uh, you know, I have a quick video today. I had to get this out. You know, we are squeezing. Like I said in the last video, Juneteenth is coming up on the 19th. June is here. Uh, you know, it should be a, a good month for you one, the stock market, and other things. Guys, this is important. I have some more Gematria decodes for you today. Some updates on you one going forward. Like I said in the last video, this is a good long-term play, but I would be playing the squeeze in the middle of this month. Right now, I'm kind of day trading uh, my shares on Urban One right now. I'm not setting a long position in until after June uh, after June, essentially, because I want to see where the bottom is on this. Um, and so there's going to be a lot of volatility, and I'm going to try to day trade and, you know, scalp some profits there. You know, I'm not going to be caught with any without any shares if it really does moon. But, you know, I at this point, I already have way too many uh, positions where I just hold without taking profits. So you got to take profits somewhere. I'm not a financial advisor. You know, we still have a lot more squeezing to do with this stock. But along the way, if you're a little bit savvy, you know, you could take profits here and there and scalp. Um, but, you know, you can never lose just holding, holding long and holding firm and, you know, picking your exit. Uh, but without further ado, you see the price. The price is, uh, you know, really good. I mean, we started at the day at $9. We're at 11 right now. Um, but, okay, that's enough with price. We know what you're, we're, we're seeing. We're excited. We're on point. If you're in this play, you're feeling excited. I have like you know ten shares right now, but again, I'm I'm playing I'm playing the the, the day trades a, a little bit, so I'm not going to put my positions right here. But I have ten ten shares. Um, anyway, let's get into some of the news that's happened last time since uh, we we spoke about this stock. Uh, so this article from Yogonet Gaming News, Yogonet.com says Virginia. Richmond offers Urban One better conditions if Casino opens before 2024, which most likely it will, as we've been saying. Um, this is important when it gets to the Gematria. When we look at it, look, um, Urban One to build a $560 million uh, casino resort. $560 million, we know about 56, right? That's short squeeze. Um, there's going to be a re referendum on November 2nd. We broke that down in my last video, Gematria. There's a, a city council meeting tentatively scheduled to vote on June 14th um, for the proposed deals on to hold and uh, on to hold the referendum for November 4th, the same day on the 14th. So June 14th is going to be big for you one, and that's when I think the squeeze is going to start that Monday or that Tuesday. Up in uh, up through the week, Juneteenth lands on a, a Saturday, so that 18th on Friday should be you know the grand finale uh, for this. Uh, but again, this is a good long-term company with the casino, but we're trying to play this squeeze. Um, the city expects the casino to generate you know uh, 30 million in annual local tax revenue. Also, they're giving the schools, uh, the public school system in Richmond, uh, a 25 million dollar upfront payment. Um, to the school district. So that's that's amazing. That's a lot of money. That's going to go um, to the schools. And as you see, uh, 25 million payment within the, uh, the 30 days of the vote certification. That's going to be good for the area. Um, and the casino is, should be open no later of uh, December 31st, 2023. That's the last day. But there's some... Um, there's some rumors out there, you know, if they do vote on the referendum on June 14th, it could pro possibly be ready to go by spring 2022. So we'll keep an eye on that because, again, this is a nice long-term play uh, for, for a lot of people and for this community. Um, so that is the article on Yogo Net. It's all going to play a role when we get into the Gematria. 
Um, but we got through this. I want to bring up a, a, a player, a character with this. Um, her name is Councilwoman Lambert. She is uh, the councilwoman for the 3rd District of Richmond City. And Francis Lambert. So she has a Twitter page. And I'm going back. This is what she said on May 26th. A special virtual 3rd District meeting is tonight at 6 p.m. with Alfred Liggins, Urban One and City's Econ Division Director Leonard Sledge to discuss the casino proposal. Um, it went well. It went well. So, she's, look, she says, great meeting tonight, engaging the third about the Urban One Casino proposal. Good questions were asked and concerns were addressed. Thank you. So, that's good. So, Councilwoman. So, she's going to come in role as, uh, a role as well when we get into the Gematria. Again, all these characters, these players, it's going to give us confirmation to what we're, we are looking for, um, which is a good long-term investment and also a possible squeeze. Uh, this month. So before we get into the Gematria, one more thing. So on and the date's important on May 27th, but we got the news yesterday on May 27th. Uh, some similar Eric in a 10% owner investor, he bought more shares of, of the company. Um, so that's good. About $4 million uh, worth of shares. Okay, and he's from the TCS Capital Management. Okay, uh, New York, Selmer, Eric. So th those are the big updates, and this is why you see the push this morning. Also, it is, we've been talking about this number a lot, 153. And if you look, it's the 153rd day of the year, um, which gets us right into the Gematria. But before we go into the Gematria, I have a quick update just like I've been saying in a lot of my past videos, I have a special premium Patreon documentary coming out on June 13th with the 23-year anniversary of Michael Jordan's last shot versus the Utah Jazz in Game 6. I've been getting censored on YouTube, and it's not just my sports decodes. It's getting to my stock decodes now. Um, YouTube doesn't want you guys making money. They don't want you to ascend spiritually and consciously so they're uh you know not even giving my subscribers notifications for the content they are asking for on their platform when i'm breaking no rules so just to, you know support me and combat against that so i can keep doing these videos i'm taking my sports documentary style decodes and i'm putting it on my patreon for only five dollars a month which is just a coffee a month you're going to get a long form documentary style sports decode from me we're gonna go into astrology other occult uh practices with gematria to really get a bigger picture on what makes sports so important to the matrix i'm so excited the final rough draft is done for the michael jordan uh documentary now it's just trying to make it pretty and tighten it up for you guys uh two sundays from now so please only five dollars a month uh you know go to the description below or in the pinned comment below, click the link for my Patreon. But uh, before we get back to the Gematria Decodes, I just want to give you guys just a little bit of a taste, a teaser of some of the actual footage which I'll be using for the documentary. So watch this before we get back to the Decodes. For some astrology, 93 is an important number for Jordan because it relates back to the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is allegedly 93 million miles away. The sun has always been symbolic for God. Jordan was the NBA's everything. The league revolved around him. Everyone else was simply rotating planets around him and his storyline. Guys, I hoped you loved that little sneak peek with a little bit of astrology with Michael Jordan. It's going to be amazing. I'm proud of this work, and I hope you guys enjoy and love it when it comes out. But guys, back to the squeeze. We're at $12 now. We're at $12. We're killing it. We're at $12. Um, again, again, I don't think it's going to squeeze fully today, but, 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 hey, think about taking profits. It's going to come down at some point. I'm not a financial advisor. Do what you want. You know, unfortunately, I have been taking profits here and there because what are the odds that it was going to go up like this today? So you got to take your money when you can. Anyway, this is awesome to see. Wow, wow, wow. 
Awesome. Okay. So now let's just get into the Gematria decodes and uh, and finish this out. Okay. Like we've been talking about, uh, 53 has been important. Uh, Francis and Francis Lambert equals 53 in the septenary cipher. Remember, septenary cipher is 1 through 7. It's a holy cipher. 7 is a divine number. Councilwoman Lambert equals 54 in septenary, septenary and that's important because... Black owned equals 54, right? This is a black owned business. This is important for um, the black economy. Councilwoman equals 53, just like Anne Francis Lambert. Black business equals 137, the 33rd prime. We know about that. Yogonet equals 42 in keypad, and yogonet.com equals 42 in the Jewish reduction, and 52 in keypad. We haven't talked about the number 52. We will be getting into that later in this video. Uh, it has to be talked about um, to have more perspective on the stock in Gematria and the world we live in. Um, I, I, I feel like it would be a disservice to you guys if if I didn't um, you know, bring uh, the, the 42 up in this scenario. And so we have the 14th of June, which is when I think the real squeeze is going to pop off, the 14th of June. Um, it's 137 in English ordinal, just like black uh, business, the 33rd prime, 56 in reduction. Remember, uh, short squeeze equals 56 as well. 170 in reverse ordinal. We know about 170 in um, 17, 170 in general because of Richmond, Virginia. We have 53 in reverse reduction, so that's important. Also, Yogo Net Gaming equals 55 in uh, reverse reduction. Um, and so you, you see how this all aligns, right? We see how this all aligns. And before we go further, I'm just going to jump around a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm really excited right now. Um, so that article, that article title, you see that article title, Virginia Richmond offers Urban One better conditions if casino opens before 2024. It equals 350 in reduction, so like 35, uh, 3,003 in Satanic, 33, and uh, 3,030 in Jewish, 33. Very important. Very, very important. Um, and also, Lambert equals 22. 22 is going to be an important number when we get into the, uh, the racial and ethnic parts of, uh, uh, of our matrix, all right? So keep that in mind. And so uh, also, look, U1 squeeze, U1 squeeze starts June 14. That equals 305 in English ordinal. U1 squeeze starts June 14th equals 333 in English ordinal. That's very powerful, and it plays with all the 33s and 3s we've been playing with. We've also been playing with the 126s. U1 squeeze starts the 14th of June. And that's 126 in the purest reduction cipher. What else equals 126 in the purest reduction cipher? They all align. Richmond, Virginia Casino, 126. One casino plus resort, Richmond, Virginia, 126 reduction. Goes right in line with U1 Squeeze starts the 14th of June. This is why I'm saying that there's still time. And this is why I'm kind of day trading for now. You know, I, I could get let, caught with the bag, but who knows, right? Um... Let's keep going. U1 squeeze. We got a squeeze. And look, 153 in English ordinal. What day is it? What day is it? Remember, what day is it? The 153rd day of the year. We're, it's right on. It's right on, right? It's right on. So we're right in line with what's happening. Wow, wow. We're at 240 right now, y'all. Wow, wow. 241. We're up 44%, y'all. This is... This is this is this is crazy. I have again ten shares. Can't get greedy. Sometimes you gotta take profit where you take it. Anyway, we gotta keep going. 150, 153rd day of the year, we get a, a squeeze. You want squeeze money? Um, 54. We talked about that. Black owned. 144 is gonna play a role. 117 in the reverse full reduction with the EP. That's when E and P because they're master numbers. E is 11. Uh, P is 22. And so 117, we talked about the 117s. Let's go back. First black casino in the United States, 55 operating radio stations, 117. So that's where the 117s come from. 54 Jewish reduction, 144 in Jewish ordinal, uh, uh, 1,107, 
1,170 in Jewish and 55 in Chaldean, right? So uh, the 144s are going to be playing, so keep that in mind. You won squeeze. And this is their tagline, Urban One, representing black culture. Look, 153 in single reduction. That just means S equals 10. And 350 in Jewish ordinal, ordinal which is 35, the reverse of uh, 53. Very important. So now we go into the Selmer Eric uh, purchase, uh, $4, $4 million uh, worth of shares. So that's good. That was on the 27th. The 27th is important. As you see, it has 73 date numerology, 37 date numerology. So it has its mirrors. It also has uh, 53 date numerology, which is big. That's, you know, ritualistically speaking, that's big that he made a purchase that day on that 53 and 17. So we're looking at that. Look, it has all the numbers we've been working with, 17, 53, 37, 73, you know, and I just got to go back up top. Look, the, you can look at the 17s with the zero value, play, value placeholder, right? We have that, U1, 17, reverse reduction. And then, yeah, man, and then we have, uh, where is it, 73, one plus, uh, one casino plus resort, Richmond Casino, 73 in the Pierce reduction cipher, casino gaming in Virginia, 370 reverse ordinal. First black majority owner of a casino, 370 in English ordinal. So you see that was an important day for Selmer Eric to make a purchase for U1. And then let's get into the gematria of his name. Selmer Eric has, you know, that already noticeable 107 in English ordinal, that noticeable 53 in the reduction cipher. It has that 42, which we're about to get into, and it has that 33 in Chaldean. We go even further, Selmer Eric, TCS Capital Management, LLC, equals 560 in reverse, ordinal, and 117 in septenary. All the numbers we've been working with so far, right? You know, Selmer Eric and his company, or in the company he works for. It has a short squeeze number, and it has Richmond Casino numbers as well. And then we have the address. The address, 142 West, West 57th Street, 11th Floor, 126 single reduction, again, S is 10, and Chaldean, 107, going back to Selmer Eric. And then you get into TCS Capital Management, LLC, the address, 142 West 57th Street, 11th floor, New York, New York, with the zip code uh, 1009, which equals 303 in single reduction. But now to get into the part where I want to talk about where the 42s in the black, uh, you know, the African-American culture in the matrix, um, unfortunately, you know, I don't know who controls the world. I don't. I don't know who, you know, does the scripting, who does the gematria for the world events. But, um, you know, it is something to keep in mind that, you know, when it comes to derogatory words in the uh, African-American community, it does play a role in the gematria. And so, as we see, uh, the, uh, the old school word, uh, you know, for negro equals 59, 32, 76, and 22. But in this case, you'll see 59 pop up a lot. Um, and it hasn't popped up a lot here, but it pops up a lot in the mainstream uh, news. And 22, which goes back to Lambert, what we talk about, 22 is going to pop a lot for Negro as well. Um, then you have the total derogatory N-word. Um, and here you see the 42. The 42 pops up a lot. You look at Jackie Robinson's, Robinson's jersey number, 42. Um, and the list goes on. So you can look that up yourself. Uh, you know, you can go on Gematria Effect News. He'll break down the 42, 59, 22 connection a lot with these derogatory terms. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it, but I needed it, um, you know, put it in this video so you guys understand why the 42s are popping up um, and, how, and how and why they play a role. Because they do play a significant role. And um, I see those a lot, but, you know, I don't really talk about them a lot. But also an important, right? From uh, June 14th to the to December 31st, 2023, which would be the the last day before it would open, is 42 months. You know, which goes back to you know the N word, 42 goes back to Selmer Eric, um, and so on. So 42 does play a, a a role. So I just wanted to get that out the way. Um, and so we're almost done. So now we're in June, and June's a big month because uh, of the, the, the new moon that's popping up on the 10th and 11th and the full moon in the later, uh, uh, later part of the month, which is going to affect the financial markets quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, and so we have June moon that, you know, 
you get, have to play on words. You know, when you play on words with the Gematria, that's when you get some of the best decodes. So I typed in June Moon, and guess what we got? 107 English or no, just like Selmer Eric. Then we have that 35 in uh, reduction, 35 in single reduction, 35 in the reductions with the KV, again, the same master numbers. Then we have the 37s in the reductions, the 55s in the, the 350 in reverse primes, which uses prime numbers, and the 22 in septenary. So you see June Moon has all the numbers we're working with with U1. And so let's get into the sound phonics, or the I don't know how you say it, the sounding, where you can... You can say June as the regular term as, you know, J-U-N-E, or you can have some slang to it, especially, you know, we're talking about the African-American community. Um, you know, there's slang terms, uh, there's phonics, I guess that's what you call it, uh, how it sounds the same but spelt different. So you can uh, spell June as J-O-O-N as well, and it plays a role. It definitely plays a role. June Moon equals 220 in Francis Baconus. June Moon equals 33 in re reverse reduction, reverse single reduction, also 33 in the EPs, uh, 330 in the reverse extended. That's a uh, that's a gematria uh, cipher we haven't talked about. We'll talk about that in later later documents. Jewish reduction equals 37. Then you have Juneteenth again with the J O O N equals 126 English ordinal. 144, like we talked about earlier, I said it was going to play a role, and it is. Look, look, 144, 144. You unsqueeze, and that's in the reverse ordinal. You unsqueeze, and that Juneteenth is in the uh, 100 uh, reverse ordinal, 144. You have that 54 reverse reduction, black owned, and that 55 we've been talking about a lot with the 55 operating casinos. Big number. Then you have Urban One will squeeze June 14th. Um, I have 353 just because we have that, you see that 3553 connection. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like the strongest connection in the world, but it does play a role. You know, these are the two numbers that we've been focusing on with the U, the U1 stock, the Urban 1 stock. But you also have that 137, that 33rd prime. So June 14th is looking pretty solid. Urban 1 Inc. will squeeze the day before Juneteenth, which is that 18th. Uh, so that equals 506 in English or no, that 56 and that 202 in Jewish reduction, that 22 we know. And then finishing off short squeeze equals 56 in reverse reduction, 53 in Chaldean and 333 in Fibonacci. Fibonacci sequence is the natural organic growth over time within this matrix. So guys, hopefully you love this video. I love doing this. Let's go back to see where the price is right now. Let's refresh. We're at 1130, uh, 1139. But, man, this is an awesome day. Think about taking profits. I don't know where this ends up. I'm looking to add once it dips back down. I, you know, I scalped enough profits, at least for today, and I'm looking to add when it goes back down. So, guys, this is, this is amazing. Um, hopefully you guys are in this already. If you're not in this, you can get in now. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I think we have time before the real squeeze happens. It's going to be volatile for a little bit. Um, with that being said, please check out my Patreon page. Link in the description below. Comment section, 23-year anniversary, Michael Jordan, June 13th. It's pretty much already done. I'm just holding on to it and making it pretty. It's going to be nice. I'm getting censored. Help a brother out. I'm so excited. We're making money on this channel. We're doing a lot of great things, all right? Um, so, you know, like this uh, video, subscribe to the channel, let's keep winning together, um, add, your, your, add yourself to my email list so we can stay in touch if I ever get knocked, out, knocked off for helping you guys out. But guys, this is amazing, this is great, I love you all, Art Turner, Data Productions Media, Dreams Are Tangible Aspirations, where we scheme our dreams into existence, I love you all, and let's have a good rest of our day.